Let's do a demo of Stitch Data. Uh, Stitch Data is a cloud data platform that helps with uh, moving data from multiple different sources into your data warehouse, like Snowflake for um, Stitch is a talent company that was acquired a few years back. And today we're going to jump in, create an account and walk through an experience and demo of the tool and its capability. Let's jump in. A new account does bring us to a page that looks like this. The concepts of Stitch is pretty analogous to what you'll find with other modern data pipeline tools, thinking about like Fivetran we did a demo of, or similar tools in this space. The key concepts to be familiar with would be the idea of integrations, the sources you're going to be getting your data from. There are hundreds or, or, or more of the sources available from all the typical SaaS applications you would imagine. There is Google Sheets, uh, Crossbeam, um, Autopilot, uh, you name it. Uh, as part of choosing your data pipeline to bring in data to your modern data platform like Snowflake, you always want to think about how broad the connectivity is for the tool you choose. So how many connectors does it have? to the different sources, not to go too much into Stitch, but Stitch leverages a framework for building these connectors called Singer. I would highly recommend you, you check that out. Singer as in S I N G E R, which allows teams to build some of these connectors. Singer is open source and Stitch uses this. And the reason for calling that out is it might also speed up how these connectors are built. So if you don't have a connector and you want to build a custom connector, just given the nature of Singer, you might be able to do that. Let's jump right in and add our very first integration, leveraging a Postgres instance, search for Postgres, click on the Postgres database, going to give this a name and fill in the credentials to authenticate it into a Postgres instance. With our configurations entered, there are some more options to, to select based on your needs. You can include the Postgres schema as part of the destination, which is uncommon. You can set up log-based replication as well. Uh, replication frequency. In this case, we're leveraging uh, every hour. Uh, let's go ahead and check this. This should validate we have uh, uh, connectivity to that instance, and then we can uh, begin pulling that data in. So that connectivity was successful. We do see the schema within the Postgres database. If we go into that schema, we do have a uh, mock data here of customers. Select that. It does ask for the options to replicate this. So we can do log-based replication. Usually you think about doing something like a key-based replication too as well. In case you don't have a log-based replication set up, this is really going to depend on your specific needs and requirements. But for the sake of this demo, let's just keep this easy. I think my data does have a key, but I'm just going to keep this easy. You wouldn't be doing this in productions, typically replicating the full table all the time, but we're doing a demo here. So let's go in, continue that. It does give you options to select the specific columns or attributes you want to pull in. You can set some deselect attributes if you want to bring in a, a specific attributes into your data warehouse. So here, let's go ahead and finalize this result, continue. Now, with the integration setup, that's the, the source part. We can add additional integrations, but with Stitch, there is also that concept of the warehouse, the destination, where is this data going? And this is where we can jump in and configure that destination. And there are really options for destinations. We can see here that the popular ones you think about, of course, Snowflake being highlighted, which is the platform we use for demo hop here. Click on Snowflake. On this page, let's go in and put the Snowflake credentials. Now this should validate our connectivity to the Snowflake instance. It takes a second or so to do that validation. That was successful. With our destination successful, we can see the integration we have. So essentially what we're looking at here, the sources which we have. So demo hop here, we do have one source, which is Google Sheets, which I've set up. I can go ahead and turn that off. And essentially this source will not run. I can also turn this off. And what we really want to focus on is this particular demo hub DB on the integration side, all ready to run. We do have a summary about three minutes or so. It, it's extracted data from the source. So this is pulling from the Postgres database. Right now the status is preparing. So if we go over into Snowflake, I don't expect to see any data, at least just yet, because it takes a few seconds for this to go through the wire, through the network. So it's going to prepare. 
and then eventually it's going to load. But let's just go through and look at the UI some more. You can see the tables for replicating. You can see the extraction history happening. Some really good logging. You can see the number of loads that I've showed up is here. Right now, zero rows loaded, but eventually we should see that data being loaded. Of course, the configurations are showing so, up. That did take a few minutes, but now we do have the data loaded. As you can see, it did change from preparing. So preparing is when Stitch has the data before that gets loaded into your data warehouse Snowflake. So now we do see that it's been loaded a minute or so ago. And if we click on view loads, here we can see a thousand rows have been loaded. So let's go back into Snowflake instance to validate the load. Do a refresh here. We now have a schema called demo hop coming from Stitch data. And then within this, we do have, we can preview the data loaded from our spreadsheet all looking good. The beauty about Stitch, if we go over to the right side is Stitch does inject in addition to the columns you're trying to replicate, it does inject this additional column, SDC, batch add, received add, sequence, table version, and primary key. This could come in very useful if you're going to be troubleshooting, trying to restart jobs, or maybe catch up on missing loads. Having this uh, tends to be very handy. And if records were rejected for whatever reason, so you can always set this as part of your configuration. Those rejected records will show up here for my demo. I didn't have any rejected records, but this would be something to pay attention to as part of your load if you had rejected records. So this is the data sets we've loaded from the mock data coming from a Postgres instance into Stitch data. So there you have it, a quick overview of Stitch data or Stitch. Stitch is a modern data cloud-based platform that allows teams to quickly ingest, replicate, move data into data platforms for activation, for analysis. There are tons of sources from which Stitch can pull data from, and there are also a dozen or so destinations that are available. Just to call this out before we wrap up here, Stitch does have certified connectors and then also connectors that is not certified by Stitch. So depending on what you're trying to do, that might be relevant to you or not. And then there are also connectors that are enterprise level. So based on the licensing you get with Stitch, these connectors might not be available for you if you are not an enterprise user. So I'm going to go back for now. There you have it. Hopefully this was a relevant demo to you. Links to all of this, of course, will be in the description. Stitch plays in a very active space of data movement. There is five strand, Matillion, and a lot of those tools. But hopefully this is giving you some contextualization in terms of where Stitch plays. If you want to try it out, again, take the link in the description below and try it out to see if this is relevant for you getting data into your Snowflake instance. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Fru with Demo Hub, and I'll see you in our next demo.